High winds, torrential downpours, and power outages are just some of the problems residents of Massachusetts are facing this week. As Hurricane Sandy approaches the eastern seaboard, residents are scrambling to make sure they are out of harm's way. I was just in Stuvi 2 and it was kind of, um, it was very windy and the building was kind of moving, but I stayed in all day, so I was fine. A lot of my family's in New Jersey and they all lost power and it was crazy there. Sandy is also having a huge impact on businesses in Boston. Bars, restaurants, and shops are shut down in the wake of the storm, leaving the downtown area a virtual ghost town. On one level, it does cost the bar money, but we'd much rather see people safe than, you know, people risk coming out here just to have a few drinks. So, could have been a lot worse. Obviously, if you look at New York, you look at New Jersey, they're still struggling right now. Um, we didn't have any real structural damage, but it was more so just... It could have been a lot worse and I'm just happy we got through it. As Sandy wreaks havoc over the state of Massachusetts, 385,000 customers are without power and wind gusts of 83 miles per hour are being reported on outer Cape Cod and Buzzards Bay. Now, as you can see, the weather conditions really deteriorating behind me now. The winds gusting upwards of 40 to 45 miles per hour, and it will only get worse as Sandy makes landfall on the East Coast later this evening. Now, weather conditions for Boston not expected to improve until Thursday at the earliest. For BUTV, I'm Adam Chakubiak.